Yo, what's up, guys? It's Aptrix here. This is my Samsung Tab S9 Ultra, and in today's video, we'll be performing some Windows emulation test on the world's most powerful gaming tablet. We'll be testing out games like God of War, Pal World, Modern Warfare 2, and much more. But before getting started, if you guys are new here, hit that like button, subscribe, turn on all notification as I bring similar videos. With that being said, let's get started. For today's video, we'll be using the WinLater Windows emulator for Android. If you guys don't already know, WinLater is an open source Windows emulator for Android, which is capable of emulating high-end titles like even GTA 5. If this video reaches 150 likes, then we'll try to emulate the original GTA 5 game on this huge tablet, so be sure to hit that like button. With that being said, let's start by setting up WinLater Android. I'm using the WinLater 7.0 version, so it comes with Wine 9.2 and we'll be using the performance presets. Once that has been done, let's tap on this tick mark. Afterwards, create a brand new container. We'll be emulating our games in 544p resolution. Graphics drivers will be Turnip, DX Wrapper will be DXVK and the version will be 1.10.3 and the version will change according to the games which we will test out. In terms of audio, make sure to set it to Pulse Audio, enable Show FPS option, scroll down and set the video memory size to 4GB. Once that has been done, make sure to go to Advanced Settings and the preset should be Performance here and make sure to tick mark Processor Affinities, just disable CPU 0, other processors should be enabled. Afterwards, let's just go ahead and create this brand new container and now we are all set to try out Windows emulation on Android. So there we go, our Windows emulator on on Android has successfully started. Just take a look at this on this huge tablet. It looks really amazing. I have to say this. Anyways, here are the games which we'll be emulating for our today's video. Assassin's Creed Rogue, Modern Warfare 2, God of War, Just Cause 2, Pal World and Amazing Spider-Man 2. But before doing all of that, let's just go ahead and set up Microsoft Visual C++. This is very important. Now that everything has been set up, let's start by testing out our first game which is going to be Assassin's Creed Rogue. And one thing which I'm immediately noticing is that Windows emulation on this tablet is super fast just take a look at this our first ever pc game is about to run on the samsung galaxy tab s9 ultra we are literally emulating assassin's creed pc game on our android device i am very curious to see how much fps can we get so there we go the game has successfully started we'll be using touch controls as well as rts controls and it is looking so great guys like seriously if you have a tablet uh, a powerful tablet that is then definitely go for windows emulation on it like just seeing my pc games being played on this android tablet is completely mind-blowing experience and I can't wait to try out GTA 5. The performance which we are getting on the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor Android tablet. Well, it would be great if it had Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 but most of these Windows emulators still don't support that processor properly. So Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 is really amazing and it is being able to render 3D graphics without any issues but do note that the resolution which we are trying to emulate this game at is pretty low. That's the main reason why it is running flawlessly at straight up 60 FPS. My camera quality is really bad guys so I'm really sorry for that but at the top left corner you'll be able to see we are getting straight up 60 FPS and that is super amazing. And there we go our game has successfully started. Now to control our character we just need to go ahead and uh, swipe back make sure to go to input controls and enable RTS input controls. Now we have the on screen touch controls and yeah you'll be able to see that we are able to properly emulate a PC game on Android at straight up stable 60 FPS just take a look at this which just shows you that emulating Windows games or playing PC games on Android is super easy nowadays. Anyways that was Assassin's Creed Rogue. Let's just go ahead and try out different game because this game works absolutely flawlessly so huge thumbs up from my side. The next game that we'll try to emulate is going to be the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 and it has decided to mess up my entire emulation later which means that the game does not work on my tablet. The next game which we'll try to emulate is going to be one of the biggest games ever created God of War 4 PC version and I am really keen to also test out. Okay it says you need at least Windows 10. Uh, to fix that we'll just go ahead and tap on the start option it is very easy fix. Afterwards go to wine configuration and once we are here just go ahead and change from windows 7 to windows 10 don't keep windows 11 it's not really necessary once that has been done let's just go ahead and tap on the ok option and restart god of war once again and let's try out god of war 4 once again there we go the game has opened successfully i am very excited to emulate this game on my android device as you guys can see also here's our today's google play store gift card redeem code giveaway which obviously as you already know i am doing regularly on my channel to participate and win this giveaway you just need to be the first one to redeem the code for that make sure to hit that subscribe button turn on all notification so you don't miss it out anyways let's get back to the video and god of war has always been one of those games which is not really optimized for windows emulation that's why you won't really get the best amount of fps possible anyways let me go ahead and swipe back 
and enable input screen controls and set it to RTS. Let's just go ahead and accept everything. There we go. The game is running properly and we have selected give me a storyline so yeah this is pretty amazing guys we are literally emulating god of war on the samsung galaxy tab s9 ultra which is so amazing but unfortunately it's not full screen it is just 16 is to 9 aspect ratio this game will work 100 percent on the win later android that's why i decided to test it out all right guys i have added the mouse left button so we'll be able to cut down this tree with the default controls and it works flawlessly just take a look at this the game is being emulated properly but unfortunately it has some trouble rendering shaders nonetheless we are getting almost 19 to 20 fps while emulating this amazing uh, pc game on our android devices and it's once again a very surreal experience nonetheless it appears that the game has frozen you guys will be able to see that it is using almost all my memory this tablet has 12 gb of ram that's why it is almost maxed out and that's why god of war crashed so it's not the fault of the emulator it's just my device has less ram you need at least 16 gb ram if you want to emulate such high-end titles nonetheless let's just go ahead and try out the amazing spider-man 2 i'll try out just cause 2 a bit later because it requires a different dxvk wrapper nonetheless as you guys can see this game also started successfully on our android devices and looks absolutely fabulous on this huge screen and by the way many of you guys were asking me why did you purchase this tablet you already have a snapdragon 8 gen 3 uh, device well i didn't buy this tablet this is not mine guys i just have it for a few days uh, for filming some videos nonetheless as you guys can see the game has successfully started let me go ahead and switch to uh, the virtual gamepad because it works properly in this case at least inside of this game do let me know in the comment section down below if you guys want me to test out different games like need for speed hot pursuit most wanted or any racing games like forza etc there we go the game has successfully started and this is the first cutscene it's running or rendering at flawless 60 fps which is pretty amazing uh, in my case even when i emulate this game on my iq12 with snapdragon 8 gen 3 processor i only get like 10 to 15 fps so the amount of fps which we are getting here is way better than snapdragon 8 gen 3 that much i can assure you guys and there we go now we can control our character it is still working at straight up 60 fps no issues whatsoever but once the game actually starts there will be some rendering afterwards you'll notice that the fps is back to 50 which means that you should be able to emulate this game pretty easily on your android devices at least if you have like 12 gb of ram and snapdragon 8 gen 2 processor which is overclocked for samsung devices anyways let's move on towards our next game which is going to be pal world so and as you guys can see at the top left corner we are getting zero fps but that should go away once we just got and tap the screen a little bit and there we go as you guys can see pal world has successfully started let me just go and tap on the close button and just take a look at this we are literally emulating one of the most popular pc games of 2024 uh, on our android device without any issues the resolution is 640 by 363 let me just go ahead and uh, decrease the other graphics option as well and let's go back with that being said let's just go ahead and tap on the start game option but unfortunately as you will be able to see the game has frozen not just the game but the emulator has also completely frozen though these types of emulation uh, freezing issues are completely common you can just restart the emulator and restart the game this time as you will be able to see our game is working properly however the problem arises once the game actually starts you guys will be able to see that we are getting some serious graphical issues during the beginning cutscene of this game and once the game starts we are seeing more graphical issues and there is no uh, fps bar at the top left corner so we can't really tell how much fps are we actually getting which unfortunately means that pal world is unplayable on this tablet nonetheless the next game which we'll test out is going to be just cause 2 i have just gone and applied the settings let's just tap on the run button and see how well does it actually work all right there we go guys just cause 2 has successfully started and the amount of fps which i am seeing in the left corner is really amazing let's wait until the game actually boots though unfortunately guys just cause 2 is just getting stuck in the loading screen so it doesn't work on this win later 7.0 at least on my tablet let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about emulating pc games on android and i'm pretty sure that gta 5 will work on this tablet 100 percent i'll upload that video as soon as possible so be sure to subscribe thanks for watching i'll see you guys next time goodbye